Elder Bone of the 70 came to this area and offered missionary training. One of the first comments that he made was full-time missionaries in your ward or branch are simply there to assist you in the missionary work. It's our job as members of the church to actively be engaged in the work and to invite our friends and family to church. It can't happen without either the full-time missionaries or the members being engaged in it. That's kind of our goal is to get those ward mission leaders and the ward council really the ones that are driving that, not the full-time missionaries. The ward mission leader role is to meet with the bishop and, and with the ward council and to formulate a ward mission plan and then to try and carry out that plan, which is to help the members find and fellowship people for the full-time missionaries to teach. The only thing that I try to do along with my assistant ward mission leader and our ward missionaries is just trying to keep the missionaries calendar full. Ever since this whole missionary effort has taken off over the past year, we went from averaging two, three, four lessons taught with member presence per week to 10 to 12. Um, a few months ago, we were averaging 14 to 16, and now our goal is 20 lessons taught per week with a member present. As I sit back and look at this transformation in our ward and within our stake, uh, it's really easy to see two main aspects that led to this missionary effort exploding, and that's members being involved in the missionary effort and then extending the invitation to attend church or to meet with missionaries. So I'm just helping my family and every other family in the ward come up with opportunities to share the gospel with other people. I'm Trish Govin. This is Mark Govin. We were baptized January 26, 2013. It was the perfect story of member missionary work. We had one family that became friends with them. They introduced them to another family. Their kids met other kids in our ward and they became friends. I believe that God placed a lot of members of the church in our lives for a purpose. And that led to more serious discussions with the missionaries and they started to attend church on a more regular basis. I saw just how the gospel was working in their lives and how they are just lights. It's important for our members to get to know our missionaries and our missionaries to get to know our members. But even more importantly, it's crucial for our members to get to know our investigators and start fellowshipping them. It puts you at ease when you, when you learn and you meet people like that because you could just feel free to ask. You could feel free to explore and learn something that you don't know. There's no judgment. Bruce. The great work of the latter days. This is the reason why we're here, to gather Israel. And for me and for all members of the church, it's our responsibility to share the gospel with as many people as we can.